After the pipe joints had been welded, the annular space between the steel lining and the tunnel wall was filled with concrete. A special fluid concrete was used here in order to guarantee that this intermediate space was filled in completely. Immediately after the last pipe had been lowered into the penstock, construction began on the intake tower. Its final height is 62 meters, but when the reservoir is completely filled, only 7 meters can be seen above the surface of the water. The intake tower houses the screening element and the steel gate, which can be closed if necessary, in order to cut off the flow of water from the reservoir. Two years after commencement of work on the powerhouse, the first major component of the powerhouse equipment, the travelling crane for the turbine hall, was assembled. To do so, the erection crane had to lift and move the various components to their final position through the roof, which had been left open in this area. Building and steel construction operations had been suitably planned and coordinated well in advance in order to ensure that their convergence at this stage would not present any problems. Six months after the travelling crane in the turbine hall had been put into operation, the impeller of the first turbine outfit was lowered into its final position and installed in accordance with the joint schedule of the RCC and the powerhouse equipment supplier. Only three months later, work commenced on the assembling of the generator. The stator blades are being inserted here. Whilst the equipment and interior work were proceeding at a brisk pace inside the powerhouse, work was also in full swing outside, where the outdoor switchyard was being assembled. The Federal Republic of Germany, through the Kreditanstalt für Wiederaufbau, has granted a soft loan to the value of 400 million D-marks for the Randinigala project. This project will benefit Sri Lanka in many ways. First of all, approximately 12% of Sri Lanka's electricity requirements will be met by the power plant. The very latest switching and control equipment has been installed in this plant. Furthermore, the annual floods which have hitherto caused much devastation in downstream areas, will no longer occur. Finally, vast tracts of land, more than 20,000 hectares, will be irrigated and made arable by the Randinigala Reservoir. Many thousands of families will thus be given the opportunity to earn a proper living. So Sri Lanka will be able to grow the basic foodstuffs needed for its expanding population. The Randanigala project, which meets the highest technical standards, is in harmony with its grandiose natural setting. The process of adaptation to the new lake by the environment has already commenced. A process which was made possible by the taming of the untamed Mahawili. Thank you.